Hey everybody, welcome to Back Issues, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. We're doing one single issue of Action Comics featuring Superman. It's Action Comics number 775, which is written by Joe Kelly with art by Doug Menke and Lee Bermejo. Mm. And it is entitled, What's So Funny About Truth, Justice, and the American Way? Which for my what? money is it's a lot. just a lot. It's a lot of words. It's a lot of title. What's so funny about it? What's so funny about What's it? What's so funny about truth, justice, and the American way? Now, at the time of this issue's publication, which was 2001, hmm. that was, or oh, had boy. been, Superman's mantra. Right. Yes. Nowadays, it's uh, truth, justice, and a better tomorrow, which is fine. I don't care one way or the other, but... Yeah. Uh, How often do they say it, though? Never. Like, I don't really remember... Here's the thing. Typically, it's used derisively at Superman, right. usually by some cynical character. Yeah. Uh, oh, you like probably a, stand for truth, justice, <laughs> in the American <laughs> way. Yeah, right. or it's done subversively, like in Superman Returns or yeah. any other appearance of Superman in fiction. But it, it was kind of ascribed to him. And here's the thing. Regardless of what DC's official policy is, he will be known as th those three things until the end of time. Right. Like, people, when there is no more America, people will still be like, Superman, truth, justice, and the American way. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Right. Like, that's what people will say. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, they still say today. And uh, you'll find any noted pop culturalist usually taking that and using it as a as a platform to run with, to go, and what, what exactly is the American? Explain, explain yourself, Superman. Explain to me <laughs> what the American way is and, and how it makes me an overweight, bearded white guy <laughs> oppressed. Like, explain to me. I think the American way is just uh, smothered in ketchup mm -hmm. with a side of gravy. Mmm. <laughs> Deep fried. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe Kelly, of course, uh, he had been writing action comics at this point. Uh, Joe Kelly is an accomplished writer and uh, one part of a writing team known as Man of Action. He wrote, I Kill Giants, which oh. is an incredible piece of uh, comic book fiction. Cool. Yeah. And Does he have a, is his channel called Writing Explained? It is not. Uh. No, he did not jump on the Explained bandwagon. <laughs> and I think that hurt him, mm, honestly. Probably. Yeah. Probably should have gone with Writing Explained. Probably. Or Writing Comics Explained. Yeah, yeah. Writing Comics, oh, Writing Comics Explained <laughs> would have been diabolical. <laughs> it's just an issue. And it was hailed as one of the best issues of Action Comics in recent years. Okay. Um, every so often, Somebody needs to do a Superman story that's commenting on the current state of the comic book industry. It hasn't really <laughs> oh, and happened. Oh, this was 2001? This is 2001. So we just had uh, Kingdom Come where uh, Mark Wade is complaining about the image revolution mm -hmm. and its influence on comics. And really, it, it's interesting because we talked about that before. I don't necessarily even think that it's Mark Wade going like, watch out! Here comes Spawn! I, I, I think right. it's actually a problem that he has with DC Comics yeah. trying to ape off of what they cosmetically think Image is. Right. And yeah. that's where you get like bloodlines and trash. Yes. And he's like, no, if you change DC to mimic a current trend, you will damage it. Yeah. And here's what I have to say yeah, about like it that. It doesn't work here. Right, it doesn't work here. If you do here. it here, it, it's a mess. Yeah. It's yeah. over there, that's right. another thing entirely. Exactly. Like, I'm not even talking about like it. Nobody they, wants they made to their bones on that, that's fine. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, nobody is making a career talking about the impact of young blood or Wildcats <laughs> at all. Yeah. So, but, but DC, has, there's something cultural about DC, and it's like when you do that, that flash in the pan thing that is only gonna happen that one time, <laughs> <laughs> you change something irrevocably. Uh, so it is with this, where Joe Kelly is talking about the impact of a book called The Authority, which we've never really talked about, but Warren Ellis uh, launches it, and then Mark Miller drives it right into the ground. Oh. And uh, But it's another subversive take on superheroes, but like done a little hackier and a little more <laughs> ham-fistedly than like Alan Moore is capable of doing. Uh. But Joe Kelly's like, no! <laughs> Because the authority actually has like one to one analogs. Like, there's Ooh. Superman, there's Batman, there's Wonder Woman. Like, those are the characters that we're talking about. No, you're just taking us down a peg. Yeah, yeah. But, well, yes, but also you're saying something contemporary about superheroes. And in fact, also the authority was saying something about like Marvel Comics in 2001. Mm. And so that's kind of cool and it's interesting. And there, there was something there. There's, there's a germ of a good idea in there. And there are at least two characters that you can salvage from the authority. <laughs> and he does this positively Grant Morrisonian takedown slash analysis mm. of Superman. Morrison will be approached when DC is working on their doomed 5G series, 
which you'll never be able to convince me otherwise, was an initiative cooked up by then parent company AT&T and <laughs> comics publisher Dan DiDio yeah. to synergistically launch a comics-wide event that is also coincidentally called a the, the thing. new cellular coverage that yeah. AT&T is coming out with. 100%. Well, I mean, when you just look up 5G, we'll be in that search yeah. algorithm. Well, it'll be 5G, our awesome new service, and Superman. Like, yeah, you'll 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 associate your like fondness and nostalgia for our incredible new service. But during 5G, they were also like, okay, we're gonna do this thing, and then it eventually morphed into Future State, and Future State was just all the 5G stuff that they had already worked on, mm -hmm. but then rebranded, and they had this plan for Superman that they were like, okay, so Superman's gonna become a despotic dictator and his son who is artificially advanced in age will replace him because we're doing like the next generation of heroes. And that was like their plan. Like mm -hmm. their genuine plan was Superman will become Injustice Superman because he's the most popular version of Superman right now in the culture is Injustice Superman. Like mm -hmm. a, a, a dictator, a fascist <laughs> and a despot. And Grant Morrison was like, no. <laughs> and they asked, they were like, hey, you wanna write for, for comedy? He's like, I'm kind of out. I'm not really doing comics right now. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, I don't know if I ever will be. Oh, you're going to fundamentally ruin Superman? I guess I'll do a Superman book. So he does the Superman book called Superman and the Authority. Oh. That's how far we go. Because Authority wow. was made from Wildstorm, which was acquired by DC Comics. And so it all becomes full circle where Superman leads the Authority, the team that inspired What's so funny about Truth versus the American Way, which is about how important <laughs> Superman is. So it's like, what? And that's why I always consider like Grant Morrison to be connected to this in some way, because he kind of is. Yeah, but only now. Right, but only now. <laughs> not then. By the way, Grant Morrison goes by they and not he. I apologize. Uh, I'm working on it. Yeah. They didn't write this. So. <laughs> so Superman is doing his thing. And we do like kind of like a time thing, 5 a.m., 8 a.m., 11 a.m., and each, each panel where we identify time, Superman is solving another world-ending event or some kind of crisis. Yeah, mm -hmm. something terrible. Yes. I like the fact that at least there's a couple hours in between. Yeah. I assumed it would be like 5 a.m. 5.02 a.m. <laughs> yeah, 5.02 and a half. Yeah. No, it's, it's thankfully not that bad. But uh, he is late to a big, massive event that's taking place where a city is being besieged by a giant cybernetic gorilla. And I think oh. that the cybernetic gorilla that is depicted in this book is a kind of send up that Joe Kelly is making about image. Because oh. Todd McFarlane invented Cygor, <laughs> who is just a character created to be a cybernetic gorilla action figure. That's, right. He created the toy before he created the character, and then the character appeared almost immediately after the <laughs> character was on shelves in Toys R Us. Right. So you'll never convince me otherwise. Cygor is made to be a toy. So right. it's made for commercial reasons. So I can imagine that Joe Kelly's also talking about that, but he's also talking about the authority. He's talking about like comic books in general. Whereas, it's not a King Kong spinoff? I mean, well, it could I be because it's huge. Any large gorilla is at some point yes. derivative of King Kong. Probably. Exactly. But so th this, this giant Cygor was attacking Tripoli <laughs> and then it was attacked by a team of heroes we've never seen before, and I use the term heroes loosely, huh. because they obliterate this Cygor. Yeah. Uh, I would call them efficient. Well, that's what they would call them <laughs> as well. But they defeat this Cygor at the expense of over 2,000 citizens. Like the thing Wait, crushes- Wait, so he falls them. over yeah. and crushes all these buildings. Exactly, yeah. no, the, the, the loss of life is catastrophic, but this character was defeated. Like, right. he can't it's got kill a giant else. gun! Oh, oh my yeah. goodness! Where does that big gun come from? Right? Like it's exactly like a normal sized gun, except but scaled up the size of an entire it, city block. It either has to fire lasers, or if it fired a bullet, the, the bullet, bullet is the size of a skyscraper. Yeah, no, yeah. maybe this cybernetic gorilla was originally just a regular size cybernetic gorilla, oh, but got... super science like grew him. Oh, maybe. I mean, here's the thing, like, they don't make gorillas as big He's got to be from someplace. Although we will establish that this the the, the 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 characters which will be established as the elite, who are kind of like a like a send up of the authority, but not really. Like they're they're their own characters, and uh, but 
they have access to interdimensional technology. So mm. my guess is maybe this is an interdimensional that cybernetic gorilla. Yeah. Maybe that maybe that dimension is just triple the size. Yeah, it's just a bigger dimension. It's a bigger dimension where they make bigger stuff. Everything's the same, but like thirty times larger. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We would be the bottle city of Candor to them. Right. Yes. Yeah. In that dimension. Sure. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter and no one ever addresses it, which I do kind of appreciate because like, who cares? We're moving on. Right. Remember, one issue, <laughs> a done in one, which I'm like, thank you. Right. So, so he gets there, he's late. Saigor is already like dead. dead. As are like at least a couple thousand people. And the city is literally on fire. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Superman deals with that, but we don't see that. Eventually he goes back to the Daily Planet and you know, it's the next day, everyone's talking about it. Now we're doing the whole spin alley angle. Four small gods called the Elite came and dealt with the cybernetic gorilla. Mm -hmm. And people are like, I mean, it didn't happen in my city, so I think they're kind of awesome. <laughs> you know, like, Superman, where the hell was he? And of course, you know, as the reader, that like, he had been at, he can't be everywhere. Right. He's a person. He got there as soon as he could. Right. Yeah. But it was still, I mean, and, and who knows, how many people might have lost their lives if only Superman had dealt with it or if he had gotten there sooner. It doesn't matter. The point is, what's done is done. Superman wasn't there, but the elite were, and they dealt with it. And they dealt with it, baby. <laughs> that cybernetic grill is not going to bother anybody. Look at the size of that True. gun. Yeah. That, that gun is the side of Rhode Island. Yeah. There's no way. And there's a hole in his chest. Yeah. Just, his whole chest is gone. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I just fed the city up. of uh, Tripoli. Yeah. Gorilla Burgers for the next three years. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, for the refugees. And because that city was completely annihilated <laughs> by Gorilla Bones. Superman might have, you know, picked him up and taken him to somewhere where he could have broken loose and caused more havoc. Well, and, that's, and we ended it. And that's what they're going to say. Yeah. That's the argument uh, that people are going to make. Yeah. And it's a, it's, it's a takedown of Superman. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not a coordinated one. They're not like, well, we're going to humiliate him by defeating this stupid spawn action figure. <laughs> right. That's just, that's just the inciting incident. But yeah. the Daily Planet has their own spin on it. Obviously, Perry and Jimmy and Lois find it repugnant that anyone would be celebrating these heroes. Right. Or, or calling them heroes in general. Right. Clark is not in attendance. Clark's at like some kind of press junket where he is with his, in this story and like nowhere else, counterpart Jack Ryder, who's more of a like TV news reporter and also secretly the creeper. <laughs> uh, that doesn't matter, it's not relevant, but like. I, he is the creeper though. He is the creeper though. <laughs> There's no question about that. But Jack Ryder's like, They're, those guys are great. Like he wrote the op-ed about how great the elite are. Uh. And Clark's like, how could you defend them? Mm. And he's like, what are you talking about? Like they did great. Yeah, they saved the city. They saved the city, well, and who the knows? Parts of it that they I didn't stand destroy. by my headline. Yeah. yeah, like the age of Superman is over. Uh, what? That's what he because says. Because one okay. cybernetic gorilla was stopped by the elite, therefore Superman is, is irrelevant. Yeah. Yes, and it's like, oh, I, I very, I very vividly remember the story. Uh, I think Magog was the character in that one, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, like, yeah, that, it's but Magog. it's Magog. It's Magog again. Yeah, but there's four. Of them. But there's four. Of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, but Magog is more capable of introspection. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Uh, we 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 need to establish that this is in continuity because like it's it is. Uh, Lex <laughs> Luthor is president at this time. Ah. Uh, uh, damn it. What? I I wish he wasn't so that they could also kill Lex Luthor and get uh, away with it. But they're not gonna do that. Yeah, well, Lex Luthor's not should... fucking dead though. Yeah, but they're not, they're not gonna kill Lex Luthor for no reason. So like not for no reason, but like that's the next step. Like yeah. we kill this giant gorilla. What's another evil we can deal with efficiently? Well, and you could you could do like the climax is they're going to kill Lex Luthor, but Superman won't let them, oh. and then it's like the, the conflict. It's like a plot is, to kill Lex. Luthor. That'd be kind of cool. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's just we show you that Lex Luthor and his like chief of staff Amanda Waller uh, are talking about the elite and what to do about it. They decide not to be in the book was, anymore. Was she always his chief of staff? Huh. He chooses her. Yeah. Because yeah. like, that's great. I know. Yeah. Well, he's like, well, you're ruthless and a badass, and you you know the you know your way around the office. Yeah. So That's smart. Yeah, right? So in the uh, in the Fortress of Solitude, Superman is just kind of like stewing in it. He's mad. He's reading all these articles about the elite and about the elite's effect on the culture. Mm -hmm. You know? He's they just grumbling. And he's, he's just freaking elite. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, Steel's there and he's like, you know, this happens every couple of years. You know, image characters invade the DC <laughs> universe. Yeah. And then we. Someone and, declares that you're obsolete. Right. And, someone yeah. says, you, you know, I prefer the Metropolis Milk Toast from uh, Kingdom Come. But, you know, somebody makes some pithy, you know, deconstruction of Superman. But eventually, yeah. they keep making Superman comics. So don't worry about it. Clark, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. Right. Your, your seat on the Justice League is nice and secure. Oh, great. Thanks, Steel. 
I appreciate you confirming <laughs> that for me. He hears that there's some trouble brewing in Japan. So Superman rockets over to Japan to deal with this. No, no, no killer kaiju. Because we already had that. We already did it in Tripoli. We should have done, right. we should have switched them up, but I, I really want to do Japanese super villains. <laughs> so I can't have the kaiju in Japan. But I'll, you know what? It's subversive now. Now it's, I put the big kaiju in a. In now, a city. now you're expecting it. Yeah, now yeah. you're expecting the kaiju. No, now it's super powered bad guys who are also Japanese themed called the Samurai Roshi. I don't know. They were created for this book, and they and they die. You know it would be amazing uh, as if they were the Power Rangers. You're not going to see them anymore. <laughs> you can't do the Power Rangers because they're owned by other companies. I know, but like, just make a Power Ranger-like team. Yeah, just knock off. Yes, you, yes that'd, that'd be, be fine. Awesome. I, I don't know what the motivation was to invent this team of characters that are so distinct oh, wow. and so disposable. Oh, look, they do have a kaiju, but it's a dude in a suit. <laughs> yeah, I, I assume there's some kind of like cultural thematic thing about him. Uh, we we see one half splash page of them and then watch as the elite kill all of them. Oh, shit. Have we seen the elite yet? No, but we're about to. Okay. So they all die and Superman is powerless to stop them. He just, he arrives and he's frozen in his tracks. Oh. And he just watches all of them slaughter before him. And then we meet the elite. And the elite is led by Manchester Black. Oh boy. What the hell are we looking at? Well, that's well, Menagerie. Menagerie is a woman with an alien parasite or like symbiote attached to her that or gives her powers. Xenomorph, if you will. <laughs> yes, if you will. Uh, it she's creates she's many lots ideas. of little things like a menagerie. Exactly. Oh. See? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's Hat, who Hat has yeah. a magic hat. And he can pull anything out of it. Yeah. That's why he's yeah. pulling a, a, like a club soda tap yeah. out of it. Yep. And cold cast. Who is strong? Yes. Okay. And has chains on him. And chains. Yeah. Actually, that's a little problematic. Yeah. He has a collar on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he's taking the chains and he's owning them. I don't know. Cold cast doesn't have a lot of lines. Doesn't matter. So Manchester Black, Hat, Menagerie, and Cold Cast are the elite. And they are new characters who were invented for the story, who are super powerful and also willing to cross that line. Their base of operations is in a interdimensional being, not unlike the living ship that that Betazoid wanted to meet and interact with, but only Data could do it in that one episode of Star Trek TNG. Uh, but uh, it's from another dimension and Manchester Black calls it Bunny. And it's basically like a, co it's a, a collection of microscopic organisms that all work in one hive mind, but like, to create a structure that goes through space. Uh, yeah, yeah, and dimensions. And dimensions, right. Wait, and, interdimensional too? Yeah, yeah, interdimensional as well. It's OP. Uh, it can also teleport and do all kinds of things. And it can teleport the members of the elite so they can be anywhere at any time. <laughs> they anywhere. Go anywhere. Anytime. anytime. We meet all these characters in like one half page info dump. That's the elite. Here's what their powers are. Here's Bunny, their mobile headquarters. And. And, and they've 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 come upon the scene and they're doing this thing, and Manchester Black is just, just a complete douche, <laughs> you know, like he's that's what I would expect, right? Based like, on what little I know about these characters, yeah, he was uh, he claims that he's been experimented on, that he he came from a broken home, he's got a sister, there's, there's a lot going on with Manchester Black, and in fact, Manchester Black is a, a time honored character that after the, his invention, he'll be used a number of times before his inevitable suicide. Uh, and then Oof. more inevitable resurrection. So, <laughs> of course. Uh, but Ch Manchester Black is thrilled to talk to Superman. And in fact, admits that like he did kind of worship him as a superhero back when he was a kid. Okay. You know, like, I looked right. up to you. Yeah, because you were Superman. Yeah, yeah, but I grew up. But then you didn't kill anybody. So I don't forever, like Superman. And yeah. And you yeah, should. Yeah, so I realized you weren't taking care of the problem. Exactly. Yeah. So what Manchester Black should have done was like waited about 10 years and he would have gotten a movie about Superman that he would have really enjoyed. But <laughs> he doesn't yell at him or anything, but he's just like, hey, does you're he relevant. Does he call him a Boy Scout? He does not call him a Boy Scout <sighs> per se. I think that Joe Kelly deliberately use, like pulls that away. But Superman, it's great because you watch Manchester Black and he's just he's just smoking and blowing it in Superman's face. He's just, he's, he's giving oh, him the grand smoker. tour. Yeah, he's a smoker. Well, dude. he's British. Yeah, they're all smokers That's in England. <laughs> That's what this book is saying. Yeah, they all drink and smoke in England. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've been in England twice. Yeah. Can confirm. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Londoners, mm. big time. I didn't really go to the country, sorry. Very calmly and derisively, 
giving him the business, explaining like, well, when necessary, and you're garbage, and who cares? Right. Does he call him a dinosaur? No. Or? No, he doesn't. Oh, okay. He doesn't bring up all the cliches. Okay. I mean, it's a cliche argument, but right. like, remember, this book is 21 years old. Yeah. Uh, Superman, however, has no patience for it. And it's actually kind of fun to see like the difference between like, you know, two Supermen, one from England who's just you know. I've lived a while. I've seen a lot of stuff. I'm kind of like world weary attire. Then the American, like, I don't have any. Ah! Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> You're not allowed to do this. Exactly. <laughs> Superman's just like, D you gotta stop. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, he's getting mad. Know. He throws a couple of like Nazi uh, oh. expressions at him, like oh. you know, first this, then this, you know, because right. Superman calls them fascists. Okay. Based but the, on but what? He's the fascist. Because they're deciding that their way is the is the right way. Right. And they're imposing it on their victims by murdering them. Right. Okay. Why doesn't he just say it's wrong to kill? He does people? say that. Oh, okay. Oh no, he says that too. But like, okay. you know, Black just keeps going. Like, how? Who are you to say that? And who cares? Right. And well, I, his argument is probably like, how many people would they have killed had we not killed them? That, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Naturally. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, but you killed p innocent people too by letting that gorilla fall on them. Right, but like, like, maybe you. Are you still on the gorilla? That was yesterday. <laughs> that was weeks ago, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> but also, right? yeah, like, like but you got to be more people... careful when you're saving oh, people. Oh, he does say that, but yeah. like Black's like, yeah, but like, how many more people would have died if I hadn't done anything? Well, when it escapes inevitably. Ah, uh, yes. If you saved him, you yep. saved people, maybe you would have saved more people then. But, they but then like a, a week from now when he got out, even more people would have died. Exactly. So it's still better that I did still it Still better way. that I do it this way. Yeah. But they don't even bring up the gorilla because that's over. <laughs> I mean, they that is their charge. Like, th there are people in the government and in the world who are like, the elite should be arrested. Right. Because they killed thousands of people in Tripoli. Right. Like, that is the charge. The charge yeah. is murder, and people do believe they deserve it. Right. But then there's just, like, there's this, there's this undercurrent. Right. Of people being like, uh... No, they're badass. Actually, they're kind of badass. Yeah. So, this is this is ringing a little too true in today's That's why I want to talk about this book, because, like, mm. this book came out 20 years ago, and I, as I say, like, every few years, somebody needs to do a story about, like, why Superman is still relevant. Right. Or why he should be. And uh, they haven't for a while. <laughs> you know, now he's like John Carter of Mars and he's fighting on War World or some goddamn bullshit. Mm. And his son's taking over and it's like, all right. And I know that like they're, you know, they're, they're, they're trying with John. They're trying right, something yeah. different. And it's yeah. like, it's, it's not going to be the same. Right. Like, I don't care how many speeches you give John Kent, Superman's son, who was artificially aged, aged up. up. Yeah. In a story that nobody likes, it doesn't matter how, how how much you get the character Superman, if he ain't here and his son's taking over, not only are you also advocating for that, but you're also like kind of like, eh, nepotism. <laughs> right. Right? Like Yeah. My dad was Superman. Right. Like he's he's kind of cashing in on his now wearing, the Superman. I am the only Superman on Earth. Yeah. So you should yeah. listen to me. Because my dad. I don't even know that. you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't trust you. Who yeah. even are you? The annoying thing is, is that you're not Superman. Right. And you're never going to be. Right. Just you like if you're not Bruce Wayne, be. you're not Batman. Right. Doesn't matter how many other Batman you have running around, Bruce Wayne's Batman. Clark Kent's Superman. There could be only one. So Superman is laying into black and he's just like, okay, en enough of your bullshit and your, and your, and your UK head games. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm here now and I'm Superman and I'm going to put my foot down and black's like, all right, well, anyway, this conversation's over. And Superman gets teleported to a used car dealership <laughs> that is using Superman's logo and visage uh, uh. to sell their shitty used cars. Nice. And he's like, he showed up. <laughs> I knew it. Yay. 20 years of doing this. If I just put enough of your <laughs> image around without your permission, I will get eventually a call. you will show eventually up. Eventually you will show up, even if it's to tell me to stop it. <laughs> Fat Al, you have to stop. Fair enough. All right. Okay. I just wanted to meet you. It worked. <laughs> it worked. I win. <laughs> He's his greatest villain. <laughs> Fat Al. So uh, Clark goes to the Kent Ranch to talk to Pa, because mm. he's not dead. 
And, this uh, book looks great. It does look great, and it's fun. It's 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 interesting though. The art will shift between Mankey and Bermejo, mm. and when it's Bermejo, it's just it's got this like weird otherworldly grit to it that, of course, you're used to seeing in like Batman Damned or yeah. other Brian Azzarello works. And mm -hmm. it's like, uh, does that fit this universe? There'll be moments where it's like that. That that's really cool. You chose to do it that way. Mm. But uh, Clark's talking to Pa. And he's just like, so people agree with Black and the elite. Like they, they like them. Right. And they think they're the future. And they think I'm obsolete. Right. Like, I've had a lot of people tell me stuff like that. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, what am I supposed yeah, to do about that? Not everybody. No. It's not like the entire world thinks that. No, but like right. it's, it's, no, it's but too it's, many, though. It's too many right off the bat. Yeah, it shouldn't it's, be any. And, and it's, it's a lot. And it's a lot, and yeah. it's only getting louder. Yeah. And he talks about how he like flew around town. And he's listening in on people's conversations about it. Okay. You know, and he's heard like construction Creep. workers talk. Yeah, but yeah, it's Superman. It's uh, okay. Yeah. He always does it. But <laughs> you know, he's listening to people talking. And, like, there's one woman who's like, there's two women. They're walking their dogs, and one of them's like, "Yeah, the elite are great," and, and this other woman's like, "No," and proceeds to explain things. And the other woman who likes the elite convinces the other one that the elite do have a point. Oh, wow. It's like, that's, but that's it's really like, cool. No. It's like, that's, that's how it starts. Yeah. When, like, yep. a person that you agree with on other things yep. starts to, like, find that, that, that break in yeah. the armor and get through. Yep. Well, but have you thought about you, I'm that. just asking questions. Uh, it's, yeah. So we see you some gotta, kids. You got to admit that. Right. You know, sometimes Superman lets people go who murder people. Right. Like, how later. would you feel if your dog was eaten by the Joker? Would you want Joker to go back to right? Arkham? Or would Maybe you, want him you should to, just fucking kill the Joker. You know, explode in the sun. All I'm, All I'm saying. saying is, you know, the percentage ratio of people who are on the Justice League versus the people that are on the Elite, the Elite are a lot more diversive <laughs> compared to what they have. <laughs> that's true. There is a level of diversity I don't think anyone cares about in this book. And they're but, like, that's not the point we're arguing. Oh, but I'm uh, changing well, it to that topic. Maybe yes. you should be. To, to find a different foothold. Yeah. Yes, let yeah, me try exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There, then, he, then he's listening to the kids because that's really where the change is going to happen. And, right. you know, there's teenagers, they're like, one of them's like, killing is wrong. And they're like, yeah, what about that guy Zaz in Arkham that, like, has <laughs> notches in his flesh for Very all the people killed. he's murdered? Yeah. Like, uh, you Maybe know. Superman should just go murder also, him. Also, like, what about the death penalty? We still have that. Yeah. You know, and that's basically them just kind of, like, shortcutting to that. Right. They're like, no, that's there's laws and trials. And they're like, yeah, well, you can't exactly send the scarecrow to meet a judge. It's Why like, not? Actually, he can, and his name's Jonathan Crane. He's a human being, and he has a social security number. Like, end of story. <laughs> yeah, but you absolutely can't do that. They're kids, and they, you know, they don't think yeah. about that. Plus, yeah, panel. you can't send Cygor to see a judge yeah. because... <laughs> that you can't send... a goddamn cybernetic yeah. gorilla with exactly. that. fit in the building. Right. Oh, well, but Scarecrow I, definitely will. Superman has matter, you know, changing rays. He could shrink That's the sun. That's true. That's but true. But it's also a cybernetic gorilla that was probably only trained to operate Well, yeah, it's artillery. an animal as well, yeah. so you can't hold it to trial for exactly. it. Exactly. But, yeah. but Scarecrow is a fucking dude. He's a guy. You take away his fear toxin, and he's just a guy. Yeah, and a pretty it's weak the worst one, by example. the way. <laughs> he could be taken down by, like, one yeah. lucky police officer. Right. We see littler kids, they're playing, they're playing pretend. Mm -hmm. And like there's one kid that had to be Superman and the rest of them are the elite. <sighs> oh and, no. And he's and the one kid who's Superman is like, how can I beat you if I can't kill you? And they're like, Superman doesn't kill, so you You can't kill you us. You can't kill us, but we can kill you because the elite kill. And yeah, we're like, allowed. He's like, Well then I don't want to play. Right. That's not fair. Right. And Superman's like, fuck. <laughs> You would chill. I'm losing among children, <laughs> right? But I like that. He's like, well, then I don't want to even be Superman if I'm gonna be like hamstrung like this. If I'm gonna right. be a loser, <laughs> yeah. If and you're gonna like, make me tie one hand behind my back, right? And Pa's just like, I mean, like, I get it. Like, I get why people would side with the elite because like people are scared. Yeah. Like people are, people are like noisy, crazy, right. you know, disruptive animals, and you know it. And then yeah. as if to like yeah, drive look at that. People who riot. Yeah. Just in general. So then we cut to like another example of Superman trying to save the day. There's these aliens and men in black analog characters what? who paraphrase ET quotes. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? I don't know. It's just they're there to be there. It's like, I just want to put that little joke in there. Yep. Okay. Superman stops them. So wait, are the men in black characters working with the aliens? I, it looks like they're working with the aliens. Uh, well, that's I, just incorrect. I agree. Hey, but maybe those are the aliens that work inside the men in black headquarters. Oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah. 
Superman defeats them handedly. Ah. And then the elites show up and they're like, oh, look, it's him. He beat us here, even though we have a teleporter. That's a first. <laughs> and then, you know, Manchester Black just walks up to him and, like, blows smoke in his face. Because, like, yeah. remember, they, they feel like they can, like, kind of walk around and do whatever they want because right. they stopped Superman. Like, they murdered all those other villains in Japan. Right. Yeah. And Superman was just, like, stuck yeah. watching. Plus, we can teleport you whenever we want. Right. So, I thought that was only in their ship. They can no, they can do it anywhere. Well, the ship oh. teleports them, so they can go anywhere, and the ship needs to be like in like low orbit around them. Okay. okay. These aliens, because they they like learned about the aliens, that's why they're dealing with them. Like mm. they're not just like, oh, a, a person is trashing a hot dog cart. Let's murder them. Right. They're like they they actually get the information and intel about the people that they're murdering, uh, okay. and they're like these guys are are, are, are alien traffickers, <laughs> and. <laughs> and and, and uh. you know, it's like they're they're human like in the in the real space it's like they're human traffickers and right. they deserve to be murdered. Right. And Superman's like, I'm going to arrest them and they're gonna go to like a Supermax prison. He's like, that's great, and they'll be alive and they'll be able to talk with other people and they'll be able to teach their own fellow inmates of like tools of the trade and <laughs> methods of trafficking. Right. And it's like, which apparently is a real thing that happens in prison, where it's yeah. like human traffickers who are arrested are then able to like share information and trade notes about better, more effective ways of human trafficking. And I was like, yeah. what? Well, that happens with all crime. With all crime, yeah. 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 Like anyone who goes to prison, it's like training for how to like be better at crime. That's what Manchester Black's point yes. is. Yeah, and, that and he's definitely like, happens. He's yes. like, and then they'll, they'll escape. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You just made a huge leap there. You're yeah. just assuming they'll escape. Oh, well, yeah. Well, because they Sometimes do. people do escape. Right. The overwhelming majority of people in prison never escape. True. Uh, <laughs> but in but superhero it, books, they always that's right. true. But if they're, if they're distinct enough, they will escape inevitably. Yeah. And right. he's like, and they'll escape and they'll be better at what they did. And so it's worse. And Superman's like, like they're, they're, you know, and they're like, what are you going to do about that? And he's like, well, then I'll catch them again and I'll put them away. And like eventually, hopefully, they'll learn. Like, I'm here. Right. I'm I'm not going to get tired of catching these people. Right. Like I'll just do that, but that's the that's the due process that we live in. And he's yeah. like that's horse shit. <laughs> like that sucks. Right. And, uh, you should and just so, kill them. And so Black's like, "Hey hat, like slaughter all of them and their families. That'll scare the shit out of them." Ah. And Superman's like, "No." And he punches hat. Nice. He's like, "No, no, no." And Ma and Manchester Black goes, "Thanks for the just cause, mate." Oh. Like you hit us. Oh. You attacked us. And now you're a villain against the elite. Now we'll now we'll have to take you down. And thanks to Black's inner circle and his connection with Bunny, the like intergalactic spaceship that can be also a technology, yeah. there's like floating cameras everywhere <laughs> and they filmed the entire conversation and altercation. Oh. So we'll just let the public decide whether Superman was in the right for punching one of my people for not murdering these traffickers. Right. And Superman's like, God damn it. This guy sucks. So all right, fine, you win, killing's okay, kill. Uh, yeah, okay, oh, I guess you're, you're right. Dead. Well, yeah. so Superman is like, all right, and they're like, well, we'll meet you tomorrow. And Superman- What, for like a fight? Yeah, for a showdown. What is this, a schoolyard? Uh, yeah, yeah that's so what Black's stupid. teaching like. So Clark's in bed with Lois, and he's like, so what do, you, what do you think about all this? And she's like, I mean, I get what they're saying. I mean, you're Superman, and I'm, I'm lying next to you. I, I don't not agree with you. I'm just right. saying, you know, like, Maybe she, her issue isn't really about the the moral argument. Obviously, right. we know what side she's on, but she's like, right. why don't you why don't you call Batman? Hmm. Like, why don't you call the JLA or the or, or the New Gods? And I'm like, the New Gods. What? You, why would you that, do that? Don't call Orion and have him come down oh, here. God. He'll, he'll, That's just weird. He'll join the elite. Yeah, <laughs> it basically is them. Right. So, but I love, but yeah, like, why don't you call the JLA and they'll they'll join with you? They all agree with you. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, have to be you against these people. It doesn't have to be a Superman story. Why right. couldn't it be a Justice League book? Right. They're but, they're a problem for the whole world. Right. And they're a team, and they they could kill you. They stopped mm. you before. Like they yeah. could kill you. And Superman's like, they they want me. Like they want to make an example of me. It's not about the team. It's not about the, right. the superheroes. And it's, it's a, not about strength in numbers either. Yeah, it's, it's a, about what I stand for. Yes, they're trying to they're trying to beat me by also they're trying to beat the argument by beating me personally, and I need to stand against them because the Justice League is like a different like morality play than Superman. Yeah, but but you're just playing their game. Like right. you let them manipulate you into this situation that's where right. you think that you have to face them alone, which that's, is the only way they could well, beat you. That's true. That's awfully convenient. That, Maybe just don't. Yeah. Maybe just say like, no, fuck you, I'm getting my friends. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's a fair fight. I would like that, but <laughs> Lois's point is similar to what you just said. It's more about her being like, 
you know, because he's like, they came to me, and she's like, no, you went after them. Well, that is true. Like, they did something, and then you showed up, and you were like, hey, what you're doing is wrong. Yeah. Like, you started the argument. That's true. And he's like, that is true. You, you know crossed what? the like, line first. I did. <laughs> well, and then, I'm gonna, I'm gonna in their the desperation, argument. they gonna... turned. Put them into the negative zone. Right. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Phantom zone. Phantom zone. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get yeah. the phantom zone thing. Ah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't end in the phantom zone. Oh my I'm god. I'm so proud Fucking of Joe Kelly. It's not in the phantom zone. There's like you can't it's like a zone crowd around problems. them, and the crowd's like cheering for them, and everything. You too. Like, phantom, yeah, zone. Yeah, that. phantom zone. <laughs> or they're just like he just sends them away, and he's like there. Yeah, they're in the fucking Phantom Zone. Oh, big heroes. Oh, yeah. 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 Huh? <laughs> Fuck you. Let's see them make a subversive argument about uh, the Phantom Zone. <laughs> Boo. Hey, who booed? Boo. Who booed? I have super hearing. I know exactly who booed. <laughs> I know what town you were born in. Who you want? They're not coming back. They're never coming back. They're never coming back. It's over. <laughs> Fuck you. Lois going like, you're probably going to die. <laughs> Yeah. For your fucking argument. Yeah, don't go fucking fight them. Don't be fucking Doc Brown and fucking... <laughs> now, Doc Brown has, has less of a leg to stand on. Yeah. yeah. Doc Brown is an idiot <laughs> in three. And I appreciate it's about love. Right. You know, he's like, he's never, he's clearly like never kissed a girl before. <laughs> and then he meets this woman and she's too stupid to know any, half of the stuff he knows because she was born in the fucking 1800s. Yeah. And so, you know, he, he, he's like, yeah, this one. But like his whole argument is bullshit. And it's so frustrating because like she's supposed to die in the ravine. And then Marty, of all characters, the <laughs> dumbest one in the entire franchise, is like, why don't we take Clara with us? And, and Doc's like, no! We can't we, change we, history. You just did, motherfucker! <laughs> if you think Clara Clayton is not gonna marry some dude and have children that's gonna pollute the timeline with completely new variants, yep. you're, you got another thing coming, yeah, man. The only thing you can do is, is take her, her out of the yep. timeline. But no, what does Doc do instead? He stays! <laughs> He stays he makes it in the worse. past. He makes it worse. He has he has children with a person who shouldn't exist in the time she's supposed to be out from. Yeah, but then they leave the past. They, they do leave the past ultimately. But his plan is not to leave the past. His plan is not to leave, not to, not to go back and stay with her no. and build a train time machine. That yeah. is not That's his plan. Not the plan. His the plan, plan is just to, to leave. stay and live there. Yes. And fuck up everything. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's a terrible plan. Yeah. No. Doc Brown's plan should have been yes. Let's take Clara with us. Since we disrupted the timeline, we can always pretend, because remember. Remember, she, she dies. Well, she dies she in the She essentially ravine. dies in this timeline yes. and we take her with us anyway. Exactly, and like all we need to do is just say that she was on the train. Yeah. And, and they'll still name the ravine after her. Actually fixed the thing they fucked up. Could have fixed the thing they fucked up, right. and Doc would have still gotten laid at the end. Yeah. And he could have brought her to the present, where she would have actually been happy and not gotten typhoid. <laughs> you know, or God knows what, because because they don't just go to the, they don't have access to the future. He has to build that machine. You know how long it takes to make that fucking train? Oh. I, I know, because his children are at least 10 years old. 10 years! Well, maybe he built that train the first year, There's though. no fucking no, way. No, no, he visited Marty. <laughs> no, he built that train, it takes him and he went a immediately lifetime, to and then left. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. And, and he has like fucking, like crazy ass Willy Wonka clothes. <laughs> So he's been there. He's been to a haberdashery. He has yeah. a life in 1885. Yeah. No! <laughs> yep. he, has to, he has to become like a cleaner, like a time cleaner, where he has to use that train after his little visit with Marty, and then go like, okay, here's where I fuck things up, so that Marty doesn't become like a girl or nothing. <laughs> yeah. No, Doc! Yeah. And, and, and get off your fucking high horse about like th about the preservation of the timeline now, <laughs> suddenly. Well, I mean, he learns at the end, like it doesn't matter. Except it does. No, you know what doesn't matter? Because I got laid, Marty. <laughs> there are bigger <laughs> things than science. <laughs> yeah. There are breasts. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's him, right? He's like, actually, the future is whatever you make of it. As oh, it it's just out, whatever? Getting laid made me a total optimist about everything. My God. Fuck you, Doc. You're you a You want to join, Marty? <laughs> what? I smoke pot, too. Oh, my God, Doc, what? I'm different in every way. I'm totally different. We would never be friends now, Marty. <laughs> yep. I like that movie. Yeah. But, like, it's fine. Um, I yeah, like but... it the same way I like Return of the Jedi. You know, I'm like, yeah. oh, this is the weakest of the trilogy. Yay. Yeah. yeah. Also, also, no one asked for fucking cowboys. Probably I won't be killed by right. Griff. <laughs> For no reason, like, oh, I, yeah. I, I can't establish oh, why. He's like, he's like, I gotta go anyway. I yep. just gotta roll the fucking dice. What? 
And, uh, you know, he leaves a note for Lois. It's basically like, I'm probably going to die. I'm probably going to fucking die for But, no like, reason. it's worth it. No, for him, it's like, I'm... This is who I am. These no. are my ideals. I'm willing to die for them. If dying for my ideals via the elite right. will show humanity that their way is wrong, it's worth it. It won't. <laughs> well, it won't because... You'll die for nothing. In the real world, that's true. But in this comic book... Right. People can change. <laughs> right. And they will be I shocked wanna... by him dying and be like, oh, they shouldn't have killed Superman and they'll change their minds. Yes. I want to imagine that note is like, I'm going to meet you at this place for breakfast. Because I believe in myself. <laughs> yeah. No, so I'm cool. not going to fucking die because I'm goddamn Superman. No, because like Lois finds me. it and she's like, damn you, Clark. Like, uh. no. So uh, Clark goes at like dawn because he's like, and she right. goes, when do you think they're going to meet you? And he's like, dawn, because they're making fun of me. Because they do their killing before breakfast. Exactly. <laughs> well, because it's high noon, because American cowboys, that kind of thing, they're making right. fun of me. So he goes to the middle of uh, Metropolis and he says, show yourselves. Boom. Bunny reveals everybody, you know, the, the ship. Yeah. And they're all like, ha ha. Like That's the, a big ship. Yeah, it is a big ship. We're going to fucking make a huge example of you. Mm. And Superman's like, wait, please don't fight me here. Like, there's people here. Right. Like, let's let's pick a location and yeah, we'll fight Yeah, let's go there. to the desert or whatever. Yeah, no, they go to a moon outside of Jupiter. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah. So I mean, they, it's habited. So there are aliens there that are going to die. There are not aliens. Well, <laughs> actually, there are aliens there, and we'll, we'll, meet, we'll meet them. Because yeah. when they go to uh, the Jupiter moon Io. Oh, okay. Uh, we see a huge obelisk of a dead infant. Oh. And... Manchester Black reveals like this. This is, was the baby gorilla. <laughs> this is not the baby gorilla. This is like this is one of the first like acts of heroism we did. See, there was like this. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And this okay, is where okay. it's like okay, this is fucking Morrison because it's like <laughs> I, there were a bunch of obelisks that like appeared in the solar system that turned out to be mega ovum preparing to hatch, and that the mother was like just this massive like Lovecraftian being. Oh so he's God. like, well, if I if I kill all the obelisks and show them to her, she'll feel like, oh, I've got nothing to live for, so I won't attack this universe. What? So they like killed all these obelisk infant aliens. Oh, yeah, or she'll be pissed and kill you well, for killing her infants. Yes, yeah. but they, they bet right and she didn't attack them and oh. this was the most this was the one that was the most far along which is why it's like a skeletal creature right it's yeah like, this is what you don't want to find in your yoke and it's just like what what the fuck jesus thanks <laughs> <laughs> and it's just i guess it's just like showing how grim dark and badass yeah they're like that's are. how f we'll, we will murder babies babies well not only that but superman wasn't around to take care of that no you yeah. had no idea right where you were you you were chilling shit. on earth and yeah. you're with banging your wife. Right, or whatever. I'm trying to pretend to be a reporter. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no, and they have the cameras, by the way. They're going to be surrounded yeah. by cameras for us. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so Superman's like, okay. It's like, oh, that's fucked up. Now yeah. I really need to stop you. Well, he, his response is just an ellipsis. It's just like... Uh, it's, it's like and fucking... then he just moves on. Yeah, it might as well... <laughs> fucking... What? Let's, that, that, is, that is neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I will I'm deal, with deal with this, this. Yeah. later. <laughs> so he just says, like, like I, I tried reasoning with you. I tried showing you this another way. Please don't push this any further. Right. Like, we can still make this work. <laughs> and Manchester Black goes, uh-huh, and uses his telekinesis and his telepathy to, like, blast Superman through a bunch of, like, fucking shit. Oh. And then he just gets attacked. He's, he's immediately attacked by the elite. Yeah. And, you know, fucking everything's just go in haywire. Yeah. Like, you know, menagerie slashes him with her symbiotic witchbladian arm. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's 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 spawn, it's venom, it's witchblade, it's all those characters. Uh they're dropping, you know, hat drops this ancient gigantic artifact from God knows what dimension or reality. Oh, it looks like Aztec or Mayan. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the other thing is they don't like have sanctity for anything. So right. it's like this could be like a really important archaeological find or yeah. something with cultural significance and I used it for a fight. It's a big rock. I mean, I could have used a big I could use a big rock, rock. nothing. Yeah. If yeah. Hat had any intelligence, it would have been a giant rock of kryptonite. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah but he doesn't. You know, he's not trained. <laughs> All right. So, so that's a big fight. Yeah. So Manchester Black is just dropping into his head and he's giving him a seizure oh and he's just making fun of him and he goes funny isn't it years of truth justice in the american military commercial right wing way <laughs> and in the end you're just a spastic twitching to your death for my amusement which is hilarious wow so cold cast like grabs superman and basically just combusts him like blow oh. like just creates a huge explosion and uh when the dust settles superman's cape is left behind and 
Manchester Black goes, oh, there's always some shred of them that's left behind. <laughs> and it's like a little allusion, I think, to the death of Superman. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a cape. tattered cape. Yeah. yeah, and he died. And he dies. And uh, so they're all- uh, kind of we like, already saw this. Right, so yeah, we've seen this already. So they all just kind of like pat each other on the backs before they hear a voice in the ether that says, I finally get it now. And they're like, oh, anybody else hearing this like ethereal voice? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I made the mistake of treating you people like people. <laughs> But I understand what you are now. And Menagerie is like, ow, something bit me. And they're like, what, something bit you? What are you talking about? Menagerie just explodes. Oh. Just legs and arms and head, just psh. What? Hat is like, holy God, what's happening? <laughs> Manchester Black is like, oh, it's poison. Like they're using, it, it was some kind of poison that like, an, it was like some kind of antigen that oh. counteracts the parasitic symbiote thing that she oh, has. Okay. Oh, okay. So Black's like, okay, cold cast, like incinerate the planet. Like we'll escape. And he's like, I can't, I just blew up Superman. Like I, I can't. Yeah, I gotta re recharge. Yeah, I gotta recharge. And uh, <laughs> Hat runs over to, to uh, Men uh, Menagerie and he's like, she's not breathing. She's freaking dead, man. <laughs> and then uh, a whirlwind erupts behind them. Uh, Manchester Black uses his telekinesis to create a bubble around him and cold cast. Hat's hat protects him from damage. So like Black just has to protect cold cast. Right. But. The hat does not protect him from being able to breathe, which the cyclone sucks all the air out of Hat's lungs, causing them to collapse. Oh. See, well, that's great. I would have loved it had he just taken the hat and like shrunk him into the hat. Right. Like the hat eats him. Abracadabra. <laughs> yeah. So his, his lungs collapse and he's dead. What, was he breathing air from the moon before? Or was he just, he had air in his lungs and it was- He had air in his so lungs when he was on lungs. Earth. So here's the thing, just, Manchester Black yeah, was they're smoking on this planet. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they've created like an artificial They gravity. must have brought some air with them or something. Yeah, yeah. It, it, this could also be like, maybe on Io in the DC universe, it's like the blue oh, area of the moon. Oh, someone put air there. Yeah, I meant to say before, Io's like super volcanic. Right. So There's, it's a weird choice for this. There yeah. should be volcanoes and shit everywhere. I agree, it's just rocks. It's like Mars. They should have just gone to Mars. Yeah. But okay. but also, you know, then you'd think Martian Manhunter, so yeah. we're not gonna do that. Cold Cat's like, ah! And then uh, he disappears in a blur of uh, red, blue, and yellow. And Black's like, uh, dude, where'd you go? And he hears a voice that says, he took a trip into space at Mach 7. If you hit super hearing, you'd hear him pop. And he's like, you killed my team. I'm no, gonna... I wouldn't because there's no air to, in space well, to transmit true. sound. <laughs> well, you know, if you had comic book <laughs> physics attached to you. So then Superman reappears. He's been like seriously hurt by that major explosion. Yeah. And he's like, like how does it feel to lose everything and to watch your dreams die? <laughs> and Black's like, let me show you, you self-righteous hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Superman's eyes glow red. And Manchester Black's like, oh, heat vision. I, I, can, I can tell your brain to turn. And he goes, yeah, it's not that kind of heat vision. And so Black tries to use his powers and can't. Hmm. And he's like, what'd you do? And Superman's like, oh, I used my heat vision and focused them through your retinas like a scalpel <laughs> because I used my x-ray vision to search your brain for abnormalities, found one and cut it out using my heat vision. You have no more powers. Wow. Faced with losing his powers and his teammates just starts crying. And he goes, you're Superman. You're not supposed to do this. And everyone on Earth saw what you did. Yeah. They all saw what a hypocrite you are, that none of your values mean anything to you. You're no better than us, you're not even special. And Superman's like, yeah, yeah, everyone can see how scary that is. And I'll bet it scared the shit out of them. <laughs> and it scared me too. I was terrified when I decided to cross that line. Right. But you know what, it, 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 the reason why it's so scary is because it's so easy. It is easy to be violent and be vengeful and to kill. It's easy to do that. It was so scary how easy it was to cross that line. Except that, like, I didn't cross that line because I don't believe in that. <laughs> he was talking about you violated my brain, you murdered my teammates, and he's like, "Oh, come on." <laughs> How stupid are you? And he just turns, yeah. and like, they're, they're, his teammates are in a pile over there. He's like, "They're fine. They're disabled and they're unconscious, but they're alive, right. and they're waiting for my crew to come pick them up." <laughs> so and, what happened to them? Oh, he just he he moved at like super speed and defeated them. Like he used a poison to cause Menagerie's symbiote to go away. So her powers are gone, but she's still alive. But she wasn't breathing though. Right, but I just- I thought she blew apart into yeah. arms and legs. That's what it looked like. 
But no, it just blew no, the symbiote off. It just of blew her. the symbiote off of her. Yeah, yeah. My, but my crew's on their way to pick you up. They already have a lock on your ship because I talked to your ship, Bunny, and boy, was Bunny happy to learn that there are others like her in her home dimension that I happened to promise to return her to. Uh, <laughs> and she was more than happy to help me out with teleportation and stuff. <laughs> and he's like, by the way, I didn't even lobotomize you. Like, I used my heat vision into your brain and I caused you to have an internal concussion. So your powers are knocked out. Uh, <laughs> right, you're just disabled for a little while. Yeah, but but they'll be back. I could lobotomize but you. I, but I couldn't remember that. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do the Batman thing. But right. remember. Okay, great. And when my powers come back, I'm gonna come back at full force when I inevitably escape right. and I'm gonna fight you. Yeah. And Superman's like, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> like, yeah, and I'll beat you again. Right, and I'll beat you again because dreams save us. And what he says is they transform us and lift us up. And on my soul, I swear, until my dream of a world where dignity, honor, and justice become the reality that we all share, I will never stop fighting. And that's how the book ends. Now, nice. Manchester Black does return. Really? Yes, and he creates this whole event where he finds out who Superman is and he oh. uh, arranges for the death of Lois Lane and he basically takes everything away from Superman. He's like, mm. I've, I've wrought, I'm, okay, so, even though we did this story, even though where you proved that you're better than I am, yes, and and you proved that like, if that you that you won't cross the line, right? I'm gonna see if I can push you. Let's let's see if I take away your. I don't believe you. Well, like okay, those are ideals, but like, what if I take away everything that means yeah. something to you personally? Everyone yeah. has that moment of yeah. breaking, right? Yeah. But Superman still doesn't break. Right. All it takes is one bad day. Yeah. I'm gonna show Superman. Yeah, and that'd be interesting actually. The Manchester Black and and the Joker, but like. Only that version of Joker. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but Superman, of course, doesn't break. Yeah. Because, that's, because he does mean what he says. And he is, like, incorruptible. Right. What uh, was that event called? I think it's called, like, the Death of Lois Lane. Oh. <laughs> but it's... it's. But the actual Death of Lois Lane? Nope. No. No, it's... It's a, just called that because that's no, what you think happened. Well, because that's what... Black wanted to make Superman think that Lois died, right. compromise his morals, and then find out he did it for no reason. And then reveal that, yeah, that it was a lie the whole time. Exactly. Uh... When he fails, he kills himself with his telekinetic powers. Oh. Yeah, he's like, blam. Well, that's helpful. Yeah. Because then we don't have to worry about this super powerful character. Right. And, like, well, he comes back. Well, that, is that solves our problem. Yeah. Well, then his sister shows up, and she has similar powers. Oh, and, God. Well, she's, and, and she's thinking about maybe avenging him, and then she's like, nah. And then she forms, like, a different elite. Ugh. It's made of, like, but it's a good team. It's oh. Actually, actually uh, I think. The elite should have been. Yes. And, like. The Flash is like, hey, uh, we need like a Black Ops Justice League team that'll do the things that we want. And I'm like, what a fucking gross compromise <laughs> to this story. Like the elite <laughs> are created to be like an analog for the authority and like all this bullshit about like image comics. Yeah. And, and, and how you're not supposed to go there. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, and they're but, like, but what if we could use them? <laughs> what if we manipulated them and let them murder people because we're the Justice League. And if we were on TV murdering them, we'd lose our credibility. Right. Oh, fucking no. Oh, and that's why Clark doesn't call the goddamn Justice League in this story. Yeah. Because if he knew about that, like, he'd be like, what the no. fuck? No. God damn Look it. Barry will try to, or Wally will try to, try to compromise and right? come, come up with some way to turn it to our advantage. Right? No. Because no. yeah. he's a monster. A apparently. <laughs> And he's not. Wally's not a monster. And no. it's just weird that they did that. But no, Green Arrow's he's just, also you know, he's expecting, well, Green Arrow, yeah. I'll take that. He's expecting, you know, like a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, like things that they can't do. Yeah. So that's Superman, uh, Action Comics, What's So Funny About Truth Justice in the American Way. Uh, they made a animated movie adaptation a couple years later. Oh. And it's... What's the deal with the title? What's so funny about it? They talk about that? Yeah, well, uh, uh, Manchester Black, like, invokes it. He mentions it, it once. He mentions yeah. it, but, like, it's the idea is, like, what is... Usually, when you hear, like, I stand for truth, just in the American way, like, you snicker. Like, oh, ha, ha, ha. Right. It's like, yeah. what's so funny about that? Yeah. Like, what is what is the problem with having that as your moral foundation? Right. And it's right. like, well... Why, why do we make fun of that? Right. Why do we make fun of that? Yeah. And it's like, uh, on one hand, I, I appreciate that if you're going to make Superman an international hero, you know, maybe the American way is kind of passe at this point. Right. I, I get the argument. I don't care. I am American, so I'm yeah. like... So I, I, I personally am like... I mean, yeah, because I'm also like an idealist and I like believe that there is something good there. Yeah. We don't need to like wonder whether our comic book writers are trying to say something. Like, right. When they say truth, justice, the American way, they mean 
the morals and values that Superman stands for. Yeah, yeah. they're not talking about, you know... Imperialism yeah. or, you know, genocide. Or, or capitalism. Capitalism, like right. they're not talking about that. Maybe even uh, reaching for an idealized uh, potential yes. for America. Right. Rather than what it actually is in practice. Exactly. You know, what, what we would aspire to be. That's 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 what I believe it is. Yeah. There's an anime movie called uh, Superman versus the Elite. Mm. Much catchier title. Like, yeah. Doesn't have to be a fucking thesis statement. <laughs> but uh, that is also written by Joe Kelly, and for my money, it's better mm. than the comic book. The comic book's great. Yeah. And like I said, like that image of freaking Superman just like, yeah, wrecked. Yeah. Is 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 awesome. That is awesome. And it's like, yeah, this is what people want Superman to be like. Yeah. You know, he's just rippling muscles, blood. He's got one eye that's like got a pop capillary like in it. freaking out he's so pissed. Yeah, he's just like, yeah. Well, he is also like, he's embodying that phony spirit of like yeah. badassery. He's like, yeah. whoa, what does it feel you like? You want me to go there? I'll go there. I'll, yeah. I'll rip you a fucking part. Yeah, I'm I, Superman. I can. I can. Yeah. Like if I did let go, we wouldn't have ever had a conversation. Yeah. But I don't do that, and thank God for that, right? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah. I gotta get that. And I, I really like him being like, this is me This is me crossing the line. Okay, and let everyone see. Yeah. Let them how see how scary that, that is, is yeah. and how horrible that would be, and thank God I'm not like that. And I'm like, yeah, that's <laughs> Superman. Yeah. But also, <laughs> you can do that? Right. Ah, uh, and all that protects us is that you just do your moral code, yeah. Is you don't. Yeah, I'm Aren't not you super glad that I don't that. that. I mean, if you know if you know Superman, you know he can do anything. Yeah. That's why Batman has a plan. That's why we have Batman. That's why we have Batman. Yeah. All right. I guess. And our count our contention for Batman is that we have the Flash, etc. Right. Like we have other characters that all it's all yeah. checks and balances. Right. But the animated movie sure. is really good. I really enjoy that one. And it's it's longer, obviously, than this single issue yeah. of the comic book. Yeah, and so it they fleshes out some stuff. We get to learn Later? Uh, yes, it came uh, uh, several years, years afterwards. Yeah, and I remember it just came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, like, that's random. I was like, what? Uh, and it's great, but great voice casting. And also, like, you find out more about who Manchester Black is. And, like, it just explains a little bit more. A little bit more. And it's written by Joe Kelly. Right. So he's so like, it's the I correct, got it. Yeah. true vision. I yes. yeah. created it. Right. I yeah. know what I'm doing. Yeah, so he knows what to cut and what to keep. And, like, there's, you know, he... The, 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 the climax actually takes place in Metropolis instead, and oh. you know, it's, it's actually very interesting, and I, I really like it. But a lot of the same lines are in there, and the sentiment's there. I think it sells it a little better. But uh, So it's worth watching, if not reading. Right. Uh, but uh, you can get this most places, so check it out. But otherwise, I, I, I think it's important, and I like it, and it may be a little dated nowadays. Mm. Uh, but it was then, 21 years old. It's 21 years old, although I will say, I don't know how to improve on that. Mm. Like. The idea, creating Manchester Black and being this character, doesn't even matter that he's from the UK, it's just that he happens to be. Uh, but the, the character being this like in your face cynicism yep. and, and, and unblinking, non-compromising, kind of like Superman in his own way, but yeah. dogmatically believing in his ideals yeah. and making a big show of it and like, like trying to get public perception on his side. Right. Something kind of contemporary about everything that happens in this book. So I guess that's probably why they haven't done it again in a while. But I, yeah. I do believe that they're every like five or so years they should do a story that's like, by the way, <laughs> this is why Superman doesn't change. Right. And like why, why we don't do this. Right. Well, I, I don't know why I have to that. keep doing this, yeah, but right. I do. And you definitely do when DC was going to change Superman. Yeah. Even for your phony baloney cell coverage bullshit, like you were going to change Superman. And for my money, Grant Morrison's saying, I'll do it. Like I will do a Superman book. Right. When I but I'm don't... going to make sure. Yeah. That it's still Superman. A exactly. That Grant Morrison took the job that they didn't want just to preserve the sanctity of Superman, and so it's all but for the grace of Grant Morrison that Superman isn't a fascist right now. Right. And that for me says that it is inevitability. <laughs> that DC Comics has no regard for Superman. <laughs> and that he will inevitably be yeah. a bastardized someday, monster. Someday Grant Morrison won't be there. Right. Uh, look at Injustice. Well, ju Injustice is another universe. I'll take that. Yeah, it's like not that. our Superman. And I'm so sick of like another take about, hey, you know what would be cool? What if Superman fucking killed people or was a monster? I'm like, yeah. you know, the 90s, What if you pushed him too like, far? Yeah, that's a, there's a gazillion stories. You never have to wonder. 
what that's like. You can read <laughs> a thousand stories yeah. in their own continuities about right. whether that would be cool or not. <laughs> and it's up to you and your like moral foundation or <laughs> curiosity to, to determine whether that is cool. But as far as mainline Superman's concerned, that should be the one guiding star. Right. Yeah, the one thing that is a constant. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. change. And it's like, it's okay. And it's like, I see that- No! Right, no! Nobody's was, that good! Right, right. I refuse to believe that anybody could do character. that. He can be, because he's fake! <laughs> no, you're not that good. Your dad is not that good. <laughs> and you can't handle it. And you, yeah, and it, and it makes you freak out! Yeah. And your dog is not that good either! <laughs> no, your dog is a, is a pure thing. That, <laughs> that dog is, if it's, if it's a bad dog, it's not that dog's fault. That's environment. <laughs> But Superman is a constant, and, and 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 he's an ideal, you know, like more so I think than Spider-Man. You know, Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, and I like seeing him. You know, but like he should be a, a schlub. He's more down to earth. Spider-Man fucks up. Yeah, and he's supposed to. He does the right thing and he tries, but sometimes he's selfish, like all of us. But Superman isn't. Superman has fucking superpowers from beyond the stars. Right. Enhanced by Earth's yellow sun. Like, that, that, it's all bullshit. It's all, like, it, it, he is modern mythology. Yeah. You know? We don't need to make Jesus more relatable. <laughs> and we don't need to make Superman a murderer. Out of all the heroes in the pantheon of superheroes, Superman can be the one that doesn't because he chooses not to, because he's the only one who's powerful enough to not have to. Yeah, he can always find an alternative. Yes. He has the time and the strength and the power to be able to go, no. you know, I'm just gonna wait. Like when, when Manchester Black's like losing his shit, he can just stand there and take it because it's like, I, I got the time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to at least have him have a phone call with Bruce and be like, what's the plan? Right. What am I gonna do? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, well, Clark, I wonder where, I he got, where did he get that engine from? Did he? I assume he got it. I guess he got it from the I assume he did it from Fortress. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He probably got it from the ship. Oh yeah, that's from right. Bunny, he said he who, like, yeah, knows yeah. everything about yeah. all of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and I love that it is one one issue because like you don't have to go through. You know, we don't need to know everything about these characters. No. Especially you had something to say and you said and it. and you said it and you use these new characters. You didn't like make. You didn't use pre-established characters and no. like ruin them or, <laughs> or set them up for failure later. Right. And they're also not dead at the end. Right, right, right. Superman doesn't murder them, although he makes you think that he did, and that's why it's so like impactful. It's so jarring. Yeah. 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 So there you go. What's so funny about Truth, Justice, the American Way? Or Superman versus the Elite. Now I'll take either title, honestly. It's just that like when you Google it, you're gonna get the movie versus the comic book. Yeah. But it, it's just action comics number 775. <laughs> And I love that, like, Joe Kelly just went, oh, I'm going to do this. In the middle of the run. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm reading it, I'm like, like uh, yep. here's this. <laughs> yes. All and right, it, let me get back to whatever I was doing. Yeah, all right, let's get back Alexis to Lexus President, President and so forth, yeah. Let's, let's find some continuity here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, 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 didn't, I did leave through 776, and I didn't notice anybody going, like, whew, that elite shit was pretty nuts. Like, <laughs> I mean, Tripoli is pretty still crazy. Yeah. Under a gorilla corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well. It wasn't like. The, it's it, a city that we never mention, so it won't we're be. We're not going to go back to it. Yeah. yeah, it's not like Joe Kelly took a victory lap. Right. <laughs> right. Where this is like a key part of, of his Superman's run. like backstory. I mean, now. it is. That well, yeah. Because of how like it influenced readership and the the public perception of Superman, and this book m managed to transcend the Joe Kelly run of Superman. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it is impactful, but uh, yeah, I, I think at the very least, if you're not gonna make any more like this because nobody at DC like wants to, at least reprint it. You know, like just just every couple of years go like, oh by the way, here's another issue, here's another one shot, make it a buck. Yeah. You know what I mean, just put it out in shelves. Just to kind of like disseminate it, make people go like, oh yeah, right, that's Superman. Because like, the longer you get between reestablishing who Superman is, the the more people forget. You know, people's memories are really short. People's no. attention spans are even shorter. No, DC is terrified that you're gonna want the elite. Right. Look at this cool new team. I don't think they are because like they did, like they made a book about them. It was called Justice League: The Elite, but like they made an elite book. And DC wants that. I mean, like, they couldn't do a Superman book that was the antithesis to the fascist direction without also making it that Superman literally calls Manchester Black and the two of them work together. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Which, 
Grant Morrison okay. doesn't really, well, and, and it, because Black has gone through some stuff over time. Right. Oh, he learned. I, I think he does. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, after dying <laughs> or becoming a cow. What? That, uh, we, oh God. He, they don't marvel him, do they? Yeah. Well, you know, they turn the scrolls into cows. Yeah. yeah. They turn black into a cow. Yeah. Anyway, that's comic books. <laughs> so, what do you think? Does it hold up? Yeah. The, the, the sentiment holds up. Yeah, I like the I like the idea. Of this it. the sentiment holds up. It was terrifying having Superman do that. Right. Because I love you just you're reading it and you're like, okay, how's Superman? And I love reading stories that I don't know how to anticipate the ending for, mm. where I'm like, you know, public sentiment is rising for the elite. Superman is not getting super support from his support network. Right. And he doesn't have any really compelling arguments against them. How is he going to get out of this situation in one issue? Right. And then he's like, watch me do what you do. And they're like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I- Go I, ahead and be afraid and, sl and not sleep the next couple of nights. Exactly. <laughs> and, and pushing Manchester Thanks, Black- I won't. To a point where he was like, so you're supposed to be better than me! Yeah, like, he's like literally crying. Yeah. Uh, you can't do that. Yeah, well, you're Superman! That's right. Yeah. See, now you get it. I'm Superman. <laughs> Good. All right, all right. No! Calm down. No, no, it's fine. It's no, fine. Yeah. I'm Superman. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> you, you're gonna shut up and <laughs> go back to place? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's what I yeah, thought. What Superman, thought. bitch. He kind of beats him in a couple ways. Like, yes. He defeats him, he defeats his idea by showing the world how horrible their vision is. Yep. And he like pantses him and yes. makes him cry so that people won't follow him anymore. Right, be he like, humiliates him so yeah. that it's like, you won't ever have a Manchester Black poster on your wall. Yeah, like even if you weren't convinced by Superman's argument, at least you, you still won't, won't worship him. this guy anymore because <laughs> yeah. now he's been humiliated. Right, exactly. It's, it's very, uh, it's an overwhelming victory for Superman. <laughs> victory on all counts. Yeah, but I, I'm glad of it. Yes. Right? It's a multifaceted victory that yeah. I think is important. It's, where, it's That's where, yeah, Bruce, he's like, you gotta, you gotta also humiliate <laughs> Yeah, you, you have to destroy him and his people right? and all the people who followed him. Yeah. You Could I have just, you know, taken care of the mutant leader? Sure. But I had to defeat yeah, him no, in yeah, front I of this crew. Yeah, I had to break him. Yep. Yeah, we could have arrested all of them with the National Guard, but I didn't. I broke him in front of them, and then they all fell in line. Yep. Kind of. <laughs> He's like, no, he doesn't need Batman to call. Yeah, I'm torn on that. Like, I kind of would have liked a scene where he talks to his friends and right. they're like, okay. Maybe don't like tell him what to do, but just no, like but just inspire like, him with some like, yeah. like, like you know, you're right. Yeah. You know, like yeah, no, we're with you. I really like that idea that he's alone. He's an mm. island. Like even my wife doesn't 100% agree with me. Yeah, that's true. And it's true. like, that's Superman, at least in this regard where he's like, I'm still right. What, right. Like even in the face of opposition from all sides. Yeah, like my though, father even didn't even nobody's know. nobody's taking my side. No one's I'm taking my side, right. but I'm yeah. still right. What's terrifying. Mm is the fact that he's like, you want to see what it's like? Right. This is all that's keeping me from doing these things. Right. Is the fact that I won't. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. But when you see him flip that switch, yeah. you're like, so quick. oh God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's always brimming under the surface, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. No, he's it's not, not tempted to do that. But it is easy. It was it easy. Is, yeah. You know. It is easy. And be glad that this is that I am not that. Right. Because I will stop the people who are like exactly. that. Exactly. And if you didn't have me around, Whew, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> Because look, uh, I mean, look what I did to them, they're superpowers. Yeah. Someone like me just vaporize hundreds of you right, weak yeah. earthlings in a second. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. So go lay off. <laughs> so go back off! Uh. Now if you'll excuse me, there's a used car dealership I need to vaporize <laughs> off the face of the map. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next to another <laughs> episode of Back Issues. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Keep reading. <laughs> like, what am I looking at? Spyro, Spyro murdered his duck family. Yeah. As they were crossing the street. Yikes.